Hello everyone. For our learning target, I can identify the parts of a landscape, its different types, how to do painting, and the natural colors that can be used in the painting. For our work plan, the nature, let's picture out, let's see, let's paint, and exit bits. How are you everyone? Let us have our discussion for today. Can you describe the picture? What is the picture all about? What kind of scenery is this? That's right, it is a landscape. But, what is a landscape? Landscape is a picture or a drawing of nature. There are many ways to show a landscape. There are some sceneries that does not only focus on showing nature. Others portray a landscape scenery of cities and bodies of water. We call a landscape that shows buildings a cityscape, and that with bodies of water a seascape. Awareness and appreciation of the environment has inspired various artists. They have fallen in love with the forms of nature. It inspired them to create music, poems, take photos and even paintings. Like them, you need to develop a deep understanding of nature. If you want to be a great landscape artist, you need to observe nature in a way that will move your thoughts and emotions to express it through painting. And when it comes to breathtaking landscapes, our country has so much to offer. Now, let us identify the parts of a landscape. Background. Are the objects farthest away from the viewer? This is the first part to do in doing a painting. Usually, objects in the background appear to be smaller in size, and its colors are fading or appear to be lighter. Middle ground is the visual plane located between both the foreground and background. Sometimes it appears to be on top of the horizon line, or on top of the space. Usually, it covers some part of the background. Foreground Are the objects nearest to the viewer? Objects in the foreground appear to be bigger, and its colors are brighter than those that are far. Details on the objects are much visible in this part. Space is the distance or area between, around, above, below, and within things. It separates the parts of the landscapes, and give the dimensions and distance in the objects presented in the painting. The line where heaven and earth or sea seems to meet is called horizon. This is located below the middle ground. It usually separates the background from the foreground. Sometimes it cannot be seen if the areas are wide and full of space. Color is one of the most expressive elements in painting. It influences the mood of the viewer. Colors also helps show space or atmosphere. Warm colors make objects seem near while cool colors make them appear far. You need to develop the ability to use it well, and this is how the color wheel will help you. It is an essential tool for understanding and mixing colors. You need to appreciate colors and work with them. This takes practice so don't be afraid to keep on trying. We keep on talking about painting, but what do we understand and know about painting? Let us define painting. Painting is the process of spreading over of paint or pigment or other medium to a paper or canvas. The medium is applied with a brush and other tools such as knives, sponges or airbrush.
Some landscape artists prefer to paint on location because they like nature to continue inspiring them. Some prefer to look at photos then create painting of it. Others make the initial sketch or painting on site then continue it at home or at the studio. Whichever you choose, you should plan these carefully so that you can create a great artwork. Preparation added with lots of practices will help you in your landscape painting. Here are some tips in painting. 1. Create sketches first of the landscape. It will help you in designing your painting. 2. Check your medium you are comfortable in using, whether it is watercolor, acrylic, poster paint, etc. Remember that they are different from each other. 3. Build your scenery in layers. Starting with background, middle ground to foreground. 4. Put more details in the foreground than in the middle ground. The background should be the simplest. 5. Pay attention to the source of your light. Decide which time of the day or which weather you want to show in your painting. 6. Observe nature. You will realize the colors of the objects and the surrounding changes, especially because of the time and weather. 7. It's okay if you can't paint your landscape exactly as how you see it. Landscape painting is all about creative expression. You need to be aware of what you want to express and why. I hope that you've learned the lesson I prepared for you. Don't hesitate to leave a message if you have questions.